Here you are seeing the home screen of Released, which is the interactive calendar-driven dashboard and one of Released's most popular features. It contains your personal calendar, access to a global calendar, analytics charts and hubs for dealing with rent arrears, maintenance and inspection tasks in bulk. Your personal calendar will show tasks and events for properties where you are the manager. Other users may also delegate tasks to you, which will appear on your calendar, as well as the calendar of the user who manages the property it relates to. You can use the arrows above each side of the calendar to move forwards and backwards in time. The Today button brings you back to the current date. The default view is monthly. You can also view by week or day. Any calendar event which is not actioned by the due date will also appear on the to-do list on the right. A red marker on the side indicates the overdue reminders and the counters at the top let you know how long the list is. The different types of events showing in your calendar are listed below it. You can hide the reminders for any event or task type by unticking the coloured circles and reveal them again by reapplying the tick. Hiding an event type from the calendar also hides it from the overview to-do list. Events relating to details in a property file are budget ends, insurance renewals and property keys. Events relating to details in a tenancy file are term renewals, rent reviews, term ends and final rents. Maintenance and inspection tasks can be linked to both the property and the tenancy. Close of period relates to client accounting. You can control who sees these reminders in the settings for your client account. Hover your mouse over the entry on the calendar to see a preview. Or click it to see full details. Events like budget ends, rent reviews, term renewals and term expires require the user to complete the task associated with the reminder. For all of these, the options to do so are provided so you can work from the dashboard to complete the task. There are also links to go to the related event, tenant or property. Tasks such as inspections, maintenance, reminders and insurance renewals can be simply marked as complete. An exclamation mark beside a reminder, like these ones on the 1st of May, indicate that it is overdue. Once marked as complete, it will appear with a tick beside it. If more than one event of the same type is due on the same day, a counter will show with how many tasks there are of that type and how many have been completed. Clicking through will show a list. The green tick indicates which ones are already complete. Other reminders can be added by clicking the large orange Reminders button. Reminders are personal to the user they are assigned to and can't be viewed by other users or on the global calendar. You can share a reminder with any one other member by delegating it to them. Your user preferences allow you to see the events in your own calendar a set amount of time before they are due. Click your name at the top of the screen to access your personal preferences. Select the advanced notifications for each event type. And then save to update your calendar. Advanced notifications appear with a dashed border instead of solid colour, so they are easy to tell apart from the current reminders. Change to the global calendar by clicking the global calendar tab above the calendar. This allows you to view the events and tasks for all users. You can also filter to include only specific users. The My Analytics area allows you to add charts and graphs so that you can have a visual real-time snapshot view of your portfolio. Once you've set up your favourite information to analyse, these will be available each time you log in. You can download the results of any analytic using the three little lines icon on the top right. Click Options to edit any existing charts or add more charts from the list at the top. You can have as many of each type as you like, for instance if you would like to see occupancy for each property separately.